Do 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 Alrighty, I've got the broken bolt out with a little bit of help of uh, a file and uh, a adjustable wrench. Uh, now I've managed to clean this up a little bit, take some of the grease out, and everything seems to be in okay condition if you look directly at the circle that I'm pointing on the camera right here there is a chip quite a big chip but uh, that should not be a big of a problem because well I can't really do anything about it and also it's no it's not a crack it's just a chip um, but the broken bolt was pretty much the only thing actually broken with this I think but what is quite interesting is that I see no signs, no brand, nothing on it. Uh, also, the part right here, this one, this is welded uh, by someone. Okay, you can't really see it. So we do that. Yep. This right here is not welded by someone with a lot of experience, so it seems to be done by someone at home, although it's, you know, it's quite obvious that the water pump or whatever pump this is, uh, is not, you know, homemade. But this bracket right here seems to be homemade. Also the bolt's been sort of hammered down on both sides, uh, so there's no way of me to disconnect this from this. It's fine, but, you know, yeah. Next step in the journey is to take a wire wheel and start brushing it and cleaning all the surfaces up to get that lovely brass look. So, uh, you know, wire wheeling is not that fun. It takes a lot of time and it's, you know, it's just gonna take a couple of hours. So I'll meet you when I've brushed it over. I wire wheeled all the outside parts as much as I possibly could and look at that shine, look at that colour looks almost like gold it's absolutely beautiful the only actually actual text I found on this thing if the camera would like to focus I would not like to focus, come on well okay it's hard, it's hard to read anyways it says made in England number four so whatever that means the pump is made in England and it's brass all of it is brass it's absolutely wonderful just look at that gold color looks lovely so the plan is for now let me just put on a tripod Heck. Uh, click. The plan for now is get some paint supplies. Uh, I will go with red, black, and gold. Uh, obviously, the gold being the brass itself, and I think it should look wonderful. So uh, today is you know quite late in the evening, so we'll have to buy the paint tomorrow as well as some gasket material but it's going to look absolutely wonderful alrighty this is the next day and as you can see the first round of painting is complete so we've went with hammerite paint uh, in red black and then gold of the brass or whatever the kind of you know copper alloy that is but basically it's starting to look pretty nice obviously this is not the finished color sort of because uh, this will be getting more layers this is only the first layer but I must say I'm pretty happy with how this pump here came out Let me just make it focus there we go obviously the parts with the white thing you can see that's pair that's tape I've taped over the 
brass fittings and the brass thread you know not to paint it over because I want to expose that lovely gold brass color uh, in this pump but otherwise it's looking pretty pretty cool it's um, the color scheme is probably not that fit of you know time period wise because back then usually machines were sort of a dark green color or black with japanning uh, or just oxidized steel color or iron uh, so red black gold that's pretty modern colors if you want to uh, you know <laughs> look at this accurately but I think uh, when I finish it will just pop so nice look so lovely so so far I've painted all the parts that I'm actually you know planning to paint the pulley wheel is painted uh, sorry for the cracking noises, let me just loosen this a bit, should be better, there we go. The pulley wheel is painted, obviously it's not painted very accurately, but I will just sand over the areas I want to keep golden after I'm finished with a second or third layer of paint. I've painted the, the grease cup black as well, and then the main pump, hello, the pump assembly right here black red and gold so it is late it is well it's half past 11 in the evening slash night so um, I'll be heading off to bed but tomorrow I'll continue with second and or third layer so see you there it is half 12 in the evening again day after I was last recording and ladies and gentlemen the water pump is finished and it's looking lovely basically I've uh, coated it with just you know as I said black red and gold from the brass and it just looks amazing and works I think I haven't tested it because I don't really have anything to test it on but um, you know thinking that none of the parts are damaged that you know there is no <laughs> no actual reason for it not to work so uh, without further ado I hope you enjoyed this episode leave a like perhaps a comment if you have any questions go ahead and ask them down in the comments below uh, remember to subscribe it always helps the channel out uh, I hope you enjoy this and as always keep on riding or driving a car or fixing pumps or whatever <laughs> yeah thanks for watching